Deputy Vice-Chancellor, I present to you Donna Monday for the Award of Outstanding Alumna of the Year. Donna is a distinguished member of an alumni community that, as we have heard, numbers over 140,000 members across the globe. As we recognize her achievements through this award, we also acknowledge and celebrate the wider successes of all Lancaster graduates and the important part they continue to play in the life of our university. A graduate in theater studies from Pendle College, Donna is a highly respected theater manager and producer with a career spanning three decades. Her experience encompasses London's West End and leading provincial repertory theatres and some of the highest profile and most exciting productions of this century. Donna looks back with much fondness on her days at Lancaster, referencing great friends, great tutors and a flexible course structure as important factors in her success. The chance to participate in the National Student Drama Festival also demonstrated to her that she could have a career in producing and managing theatre. She says the opportunity to take two enterprise units as part of her degree stood her in particularly good stead for her chosen path, and she secured her first job in the industry straight after graduation. Starting out with small touring theatre companies, Donna soon progressed to the role of finance director with the Royal Court Theatre in London. From here, her career took flight, moving into general management and production with Andrew Lloyd Webber's Really Useful Group and managing some of the West End's most prestigious venues, among them the Apollo, Lyric and Garrick Theatres. Her credits include work with award-winning production companies, working title films, Sonia Friedman Productions and the Trafalgar Entertainment Group. She has been responsible for transferring successful shows from the West End to venues overseas, including Billy Elliot the Musical to the Netherlands. This show went on to win the Best Big Musical Production at the Dutch National Theatre Awards. Productions she has worked on in the West End and regionally have won numerous UK theatre awards. Beyond her extensive West End experience, Donna has worked as Chief Executive of the Lyceum, Studio and Crucible Theatres in Sheffield, project managing a successful £15 million refurbishment of the latter, and the Royal and Derngate Arts Complex in Northampton. She's also worked with, amongst others, Theatre Cluid, Birmingham Repertory Theatre, the Corby Cube, and the Royal Shakespeare Company. She continues to support and promote student theatre as a board director and chair of the National Student Drama Festival, and she is a board member of the Headlong Theatre Company. In 2017, Donna produced a moving community theatre tribute to the murdered MP, Joe Cox, Hear the People Sing, in Joe's constituency of Batley and Spen, West Yorkshire. The legacy of this project continues via the ongoing success of the youth theatre company Donna established, benefiting the young people of Batley and Spen. Donna has had the chance to work with some of the leading actors and directors of the British theatre, including Benedict Cumberbatch, Sheridan Smith and Stephen Doldry. The shows she has helped bring to the stage read like a shortlist for the Olivier Awards, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Funny Girl, Bend It Like Beckham, Dream Girls, Billy Elliot. Considering her effervescent passion for her work and her absolute commitment to British theatre, there is clearly more to come, and we can be sure that Donna will add to this list of successes in the future. The range of Donna Monday's achievements over the last quarter of a century should act as a reminder to each of you graduating today that you too can be successful with commitment and dedication. In reaching for success, we hope that you will make the most of your Lancaster qualifications, not only to better yourselves, but also to benefit your families, your university, and the wider communities you live and work in. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, it is my honor to present Donna Monday for the award of Outstanding Alumna of the Year. Deputy Vice-Chancellor, fellow members of the university, honoured guests, I am delighted and privileged to be at the ceremony today and thank you very much for honouring me with this award, all the more special because it's being given by the University of the Year. I feel very humbled and it's wonderful and surprisingly emotional actually to be back on campus to receive it. Congratulations to all of you graduating today. 
You have all worked so hard, and this is a very special day for you, which I hope you will remember. I remember how excited I was on my graduation day, and although I was looking forward to getting out into the world and starting work, I was also really sad that my three years here were coming to an end, and I'm sure that many of you are also sharing these emotions. I was lucky to come to Lancaster at all. University wasn't on my radar. My dream was to be a musician, and age 16, after a single term of A-levels, I got the chance to join a band. I left school, got a job, bought a keyboard, and thought I was going to be a pop star. Fast forward three years, and despite having played a lot of gigs, shockingly and inexplicably, I was not a pop star. The band had split up, I had got quite heavily into amateur dramatics, and was spending all my time at my local theater. By this time, my younger sister had come to Lancaster. She was in Pendle, and my visits to her changed my life. I took one look, and I thought, I can't miss out on this. I have to go to university, it has to be Lancaster, and it has to be Pendle. Now, I know that will be appreciated by county and Lonsdale students. <laughs> so I went back to college part-time, I got a BTEC in business and finance, and when next visiting my sister, I knocked on the door of the theatre studies department and asked if they would consider accepting me as a mature student. Happily, they said yes, and I started my theatre studies degree in 1989, age 22. I loved being here. I absolutely loved it. I loved my course, my college, living on campus, the social life, the politics, the sugar house. Um, glad it's still open. Um, and the best friends that I made here at Lancaster, which were largely through politics and the student union, are still my best friends today, nearly 30 years later. Although we live all over the UK, we still see each other all the time. We gather for birthdays, we go on holidays together. These are deep and long-lasting friendships that were forged during our time here. I feel a huge loyalty to Lancaster University. I even actually, somewhat sadly, still bank at Barclays on campus, <laughs> despite a record-breaking student overdraft, which actually led to my bank manager calling me in, cutting up my credit cards, <laughs> then setting them on fire in his ashtray, <laughs> which also tells you how long ago it was as he could smoke in his office. <laughs> I've been lucky enough to have a career in an industry that I love. Most people don't realize that putting on a show is like running a small business. The number of people involved, the time it takes to develop a production, how much it costs. As a producer, my job is all about making the creative vision happen, having the right people in the right place at the right time with enough resources. The journey that we go on from first rehearsal to opening night is exhilarating and sitting in the audience on those nights, being part of the team that puts on the show is very special. Yes, there are moments occasionally of glamour, but most of it is hard work and very long hours. It is also the most enormous fun, and that is something I've always strived for. Even if when you're graduating, you don't know yet what you want to do, my advice to you is to always ensure that you end up in a job where you like the people that you work with, and where you can have fun. I really love my job, but there is also more to life than work. In 2014, my husband and I packed in work completely for six months and went traveling around the world. A late gap year. <laughs> it was a total revelation to be away for that long, away from my BlackBerry, away from the phones. And if you have the opportunity to do this at some point in your life, don't hesitate. Grab your passport and go. You are all about to start your careers. I've recruited many people your age, and I lead workshops for graduating students on how to get your first job and be successful. You all obviously want to progress as fast as you can, as fast as you can, but in your first job, my advice to you would be, be willing and be helpful. Be happy to make the tea, even though you think you should be running the company. Don't use leaving university as an excuse to stop learning. Always be willing to ask for help and grasp opportunities that come your way. And most of all, don't worry if you don't know yet and you're not sure what you want to do. As you can see from my example, it is possible to change direction at any time. 
knock on doors. If I hadn't knocked on the theatre studies department door, I wouldn't be here now. One of the brilliant things about my degree was that it allowed me to experiment, work out what I was good at, and decide what I wanted to do for a career. The flexibility of the course was brilliant, and I owe a huge debt to the lecturers and staff who encouraged and supported me, one of whom, Professor Crick, is here today, as are indeed a couple of the members of the staff of the Nuffield. Thank you for everything you did for me. I'd also like to thank my husband, who has been totally supportive of the all-consuming nature of my job and the time commitment that it has required. I have so much to thank Lancaster for, my career, my best friends, and now for recognizing me with this prestigious award. Many of the things that matter most to me started here, and I'm sure that it will be the same for you. As you leave Lancaster to make your way in the world, I wish you great success in your chosen field. I encourage you to be politically engaged, which is very important right now. And I hope that you all have a life of fulfillment, friends, and fun. Thank you very much, and congratulations to you all.